In order to create a new site, you're going to click on the plus sign in the bottom right hand corner. The first step after creating your site is to give it a name. This is typically going to be your first and last name. Remember that this is your site, so you're going to want to name it after yourself because you are the creator. Note that I've capitalized my names and then I'm also going to add the title up here as well. This section of my site is called the header. You'll notice that there are several different options. If I click on header type, I have the banner, which is the default, the larger banner, which makes it a little larger, title only, which would not include an image behind the title, and then a cover. While the most popular header type will probably be the banner, you could choose one of these others based on your personal branding and what you want that very first home page to portray. Okay. So my header background image can be changed by clicking the change image option. You'll notice if I click select image that I can select by some of these preset images Google has for me. You might also find that students like to create their own header image. So I could choose this red one here. And you'll notice that this changes the background of my header. The home page is where people are very first gonna land on your site. So you want this to represent you and be very easy to read. You'll notice that there's an adjust readability option here. This will, if I turn this on, make it a little bit easier to see your name. So you'll notice that it will bend the, dim the background so that my name stands out a little bit more. You'll notice that every page in your site will include a header and then have the same options to change here. Just remember that in your header, you wanna keep this from being too flashy and you wanna make sure that others can read your header titles.